everybody how are you today and welcome to the Tissue Brown channel I am going to redo a tutorial that I've done over a year ago because for some reason or another I just happened to notice that uh, I forgot to actually add part of the tutorial the tutorial will be how to build a shark tank or aquarium inside of a house but for some reason the last one I forgot to actually put in how to put the sharks inside of the tank but anyway what we're going to do first is we're going to put our cheats in which is testing cheats enable true oh, crying out loud. there and we're going to need body bug we will be using um, also move objects on But we're also going to use constrain for elevation, but we're going to use that later. Right now, what I want to do is I want to build a small place where my sim can actually get into. So I'm going to need stairs, and I'm going to build basically just a small room. Well, not well. It's not going to be a small room, but point being, the sim needs to be able to get inside so that I can show you that the actual house works with the aquarium inside of it now I'm going to add flooring on top because I want to add a pool and the one I'm going to use is six by six and you want to use at least this size so that the shark will have room to swim around and not go outside of what will be the windows now the windows I'm using are the big ones they're the three space wide ones and because I have the move object sheet on right now the windows are gonna kind of glitch out just a little bit but you can fix that by going up and down on your uh, well you used to be able to okay there we go you can just re re-grab them and replace them then sometimes if you pl go up a level or two it'll actually fix them themselves but anyway, um, now that we have our codes in, what I need to do is I need to grab a object, like a table, that the um, shark can actually sit on. And usually it's going to be an end table. Now this question mark right here is where your bo body bug menu is. You go here, go to miscellaneous, and scroll down until you see the fog emitter. And you want to place it on top of the table. Now, the next part is the cheat code. So you hold Control and Shift, click on the fog emitter, and then change its visual effect. You want to change it to Fish Shark Active. And a shark show up here. Now, later on in the video, I will show you how to decorate the pool so that you can kind of hide the table. But, you know, but you kind of want to get the table closer to the center. That way, like I said, the shark has room to swim around. And now that I have the shark in here, what I need to do is add stairs so that my sim can get upstairs and I can show you how the house actually works. So I'm going to ch turn the constraint floor elevation sheet off. And turn it on to true so that it's active take a set of stairs and there we go now for the top level you want to put surround the pool basically and we're going to level it out so that it's lower now I need to move this out just a little bit so that I can place the stairs because you can't place the stairs over the section where the pool is. So I got to turn my cheat back on. I'm just going to press up and then turn it back to false. Now click here for your stairs. You're going to need at least three. And if you don't have room right away, you can always just uh, delete level out and add some more stairs 
like this, basically. So I got my last one in. I'm going to level the top floor up. Out, I meant. Well, down. You know what I meant. And then I will add some more stairs here. So now we have our pool that's covered and an area above that you can actually build on. So let's go into live mode. Well, actually, you know what? I need to add lights because of the fact that, uh, yeah, it's nighttime in the game. So let me go ahead and turn this off and add some lights so you can actually see what's going on. There we go. Okay, so let's go to live mode. And I'm going to tell Nate to go here. And in the meantime, you can see that the shark is actually swimming around the table. Now it will go out and move further. As you can see. But what you want to do later on is you want to add something that's going to hide the shark. I mean the table. Not the shark. You don't want to hide the shark. And as you can see, Nate's up here. So the house is fully functional. And so let's go put some rocks and stuff in here. Okay, so we can add not trees. Hopefully not trees. You can add these, of course make it look kind of realistic let's see where we're at okay uh, add some more foliage and whatnot now you can put more than one fish but you'd have to use more than one fog emitter so let's put a couple rocks here now usually something like this you don't want to use in a mansion or something large. You don't want to usually put this in some kind of small home, but you know, because it looked like really, really weird. But you can always add more plants and more trees and more rocks and whatnot to hide your table. It's a little bit better. And of course, let's go back to live mode or live mode, however you want to pronounce it. And the table's not really hit so much, but you get the idea. You know, you want to add rocks and trees and whatnot. The thing about the plants though it's better if you have um, into the future you can use the um, rugs that they have in here and actually put plants inside on top of these rugs which is going to give you a chance to actually use the lighting correctly because as you see the lights don't actually uh, work too well when it comes to uh, the plants. They're still kind of dim, even though I have the lights in there. Now, if I can find the plants from... Yeah, there we go. See, the tree actually lights up. Let's go to this. There we go. See, the lighting is a bit better this way. But if you have to, if you don't have into the future, you still put in your rocks and your trees and whatnot. But anyway, um, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Um, I don't think I missed anything. I mean, it's inside the house and you can add the fog emitters and add the sharks. Um, look in the description for the cheat codes that I talked about in, in the video. And if you have any questions, by all means, please ask. I mean, not perfect. If I happen to miss something, if you still have questions, go ahead and ask about it. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Um, you can always follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and even my website. You can go to my website. is tosutorbrown.webs.com. And you can become a member of the website and join the forums. I do actually respond to you guys if you have questions or whatnot. So, 
like I said before, thanks for watching, and hopefully this tutorial will com actually uh, solve some of those problems that I had before with uh, forgetting to put the actual sharks in the shark tank. But um, yeah, thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.